Today I'm going to show you how to work with multiple monitors with Nero Platinum 16. On the left hand side of your screen you'll see my PC. On the right hand side of your screen you will see my monitor. My monitor also doubles as a television set and the monitor and my PC are linked using a HDMI cable. And I have the PC set up so if I right click on my mouse and I use this drop down to come down to where it says screen resolution and left click I have it set up for multiple monitors in landscape and I have duplicate these displays and I'm going to exit out of that screen so everything that's happening on the left hand side of the screen is also happening on the right screen. But if I come to Nero Platinum 16 and click, go to Nero Video and click, come down to where it says Make Advanced Movie and click, and drag this free copyright free video from Nero into the timeline you'll notice that I would normally be working with this little screen here on the top left hand side of the screen. I can resize it to a certain extent by grabbing hold, clicking and moving the screen around um, and the biggest image that I can get is, is that size. And if this was just a small laptop that I was working on, it would be very difficult to work accurately with that material. So kindly, Nero have always had the ability to watch everything in full screen. And if I click on that part of the screen, you'll see the two images are exactly the same left and right but I can only play the material here, I can't work, in, work on it. And so I'm constantly having to toggle backwards and forwards by using this close full screen function. But in this new version, I can come to this drop down on the full screen section and click. I can come down to the bottom and I can click there and magically on the left I still have the program that I'm working on but on the right I have a full screen of the image that I am actually working on and I can click to play and I can click to stop and I can see exactly what I am going to be producing I can accurately choose where to cut and this is a far better way of working so that I still have the ability to use the tools on the left hand side on the computer and view the image on the right hand side as I'm doing that. I hope this tutorial helped you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.